Hearing the Lord's return, everyone became very happy. And they all went to Sarva Boma Bhattacharya and spoke to him as follows. Please arrange for our meeting with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It is only by your mercy that we can attain the shelter of the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya. So you see, always trying to teach Guru Tattva, it is so important that it's repeated over and over again in different pastimes. See, and so the devotees, you know, when if you have devotion and you know the path, this is what shines. Okay. Please arrange for our meeting with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It is only by your mercy that we can attain the shelter of the lotus feet of the Lord. So coming to the real guru is is um, is um, is a guru is arranging for everybody's meeting with the Lord. See? And people, you know, have different arrangements that are needed <laughs> according to their, you know, um, situation, personal situation. The Bhattacharya replied to the people, Tomorrow the Lord will be at the house of Kashi Mishra. I shall arrange for you all to meet him. The next day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu arrived and went with Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya with great enthusiasm to see the temple of Lord Jagannath. All the servants of Lord Jagannath delivered remnants of the Lord's food to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In return, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu embraced them all. After seeing Lord Jagannath, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left the temple and the Bhattacharya, the Bhattacharya then took him to the house of Kashi Mishra. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu arrived at his house, Kashi Mishra immediately fell down and offered his lo- and, uh, at his lotus feet and surrendered himself and all his possessions. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then showed Kashi Mishra his forearm form. Then accepting him for his service, the Lord embraced him. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu next sat down at the place prepared for him and all the devotees headed by Lord Nityananda surrounded him. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very happy to see his residential quarters in which all his necessities were taken care of. Sarva Bhattacharya said, This place is just befitting you. Please accept it as the hope of Kashi Mishra. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, My body belongs to all of you, therefore I agree to whatever you say. Whatever you do. No, no. Whatever you say. See, that's, so those who are actual devotees, that's why you need to, you know, find this rare path someday, some lifetime. See, whatever they say, the Lord agrees to. <laughs> yeah. See, so. After this, Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya sitting at the right hand of the Lord, began to introduce all the inhabitants of Purusottam, Jagannath Puri. The Bhattacharya said, My dear Lord, all these people who are residents of Nilachal, Jagannath Puri, have been very anxious to meet you. In your absence, all these people have been exactly like thirsty Chatak birds, crying in disappointment, kindly accept them. See, this is this is the idea. Okay? Sarvabhoma is a bona fide representative of the Lord. He has that mercy. He's an ecstatic devotee, not just a Vaidhi Bhakta. Okay? And and so when the devotees are very, very anxious to meet the Lord, see these are these were devotees. Um, they were worshippers of Jagannath. They're more or less in the Vaidhi sector. Okay? 
and they became very eager to meet the Lord, and they they they, uh, they honored the real representative. They didn't honor just any Vaidhi Bhakti, did they? They honored the real representative. Here, Sarvabhoma, you received the real mercy, that special mercy of love for Krishna. See, by your mercy we can meet them. So this is Guru Tattva, man, in a nutshell. So that's why there's there's got to be two things, two main things. There has to be a devotee qualified with this love of God, and there has to be the order to give it. Yeah, Bhakti Vinod, Bhakti Siddhanta, and Prabhupada were all qualified acharyas, man. All qualified to give this, but they didn't give it. See? So you need the, and same thing with Moses also. It could have been empowered any way the Lord wanted to use him. But the Lord inspired and empowered them to deliver um, Vaidhi Bhakti. See? So you need the factor, you need the, uh, the, uh, the genuine representative because a genuine representative might say, well, you've got to do Vaidhi Bhakti first. See? See? So you've got to have the devotee who has this, this gift because the body of the Lord, the transcendental body of the Lord belongs to them and them alone. Then you have to have the order. See? Nichananda didn't, and the Dwaita did not distribute this ecstatic love widely until they got the order from Lord Chaitanya. Give it even to the lowest persons, the dog eaters. Okay? So that order has to be there too. Lord Chaitanya said there, give it, you know, show Krishna consciousness and teach it and give it to even the lowest persons. So that order came again, it came to me, you know, through the way, through the disciplic line. Lord Chaitanya was not here, right? Or he's unmanifest now. So how is he going to give that order? Came in a lucid dream. Says my approval, distribute ecstatic love. And Krishna comes and said, yeah, anybody like yourself who comes, you this, this, you see in your, getting your devotional position in Vrindavan, is going to come this way through by the mercy of your guru. This this guru, not just any guru. It's the guru that where the Lord is proving that His mercy is upon them, because people's are they're getting ecstatic devotion awakened very quickly and realizing their devotional position. Okay. Not just any anybody is doing that. Even the, I didn't see this happening with any of the gurus, Narayim Raj with Gaudiya Math. Okay. So the order is given now, and it's happening. Whoever will believe our message, <laughs> they're they're getting very quick advancement. So in your absence, these people have been exactly like thirsty chatak birds. There are Vaidhi Bhaktas out there, like Janaki, and like Johan, and like um, um, Ranga, like everybody practically here. you know. And they're crying out to the Lord, please, I want this. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Why isn't this enough? So now you, you come here, we teach you why it's not enough, why it's even in Prabhupada's books it's not enough. Why in that conversation with Ramananda Roy, Lord Chaitanya rejected Vaidhi. He said, oh, okay, that's fine and dandy, you know, for the less intelligent. I mean, that's why we, uh, this bhakti is given to the, out of great mercy to the less intelligent. You start to get in the game, man. You know, you get to play right field in the, in the ballpark. At least you're playing ball somewhat. See, but to, to be progressive, for those who are progressive, now we pull out the conversation with Ramananda Roy and Lord Chaitanya, and Lord Chaitanya said, that's external bhakti, rules and regulations, and varnashram dharma. 
rules and regulations. Oh, you know what? I need to close the door here. I think I do. I don't know. Maybe. People could say, you know, go hurry. These, these are the scholars, they come and they say, who are you to, to, uh, <laughs> to pick and choose like the Acharyas do? See? So the point is, and this Gohari, he's just repeating himself again and again. These guys, these so-called scholars. And I, you, you got to keep repeating again and again because, because we're here to teach bhakti to Prabhupada's devotees and it will repeat again and again until you hear it. Don't tell me. See, this is the problem. Nobody can act like a devotee. They come and they, they, to devotional service and they say, oh, now I'm a devotee. I've memorized these verses and everything, but they don't act like a devotee. You've got to act like a person that realize, is intelligent. You, so until you do, you have to hear the message of Guru Tattva. Why do you think the Christians are just, it's all Guru Tattva, Guru Tattva, accept Jesus, accept Jesus, accept, what are they saying? Accept the real Vaishnava. Don't accept Pharisee types. Don't accept the Buddhists. Don't accept New Age people. Don't accept uh, uh, even um, uh, ministers that are still like Pharisees. You know, they don't know what is bhakti. And we say the same thing. You know, you see, they built for generations just to get people in the door of Christianity is Guru Tattva. It's the door to bhakti. People know it. These scholars, they all know, yes, uh, Guru Tattva is the door to bhakti, but they can't recognize a real guru. Or the, you know, so we got to keep doing that because whoever does gets in the door and has spiritual experiences like these people here. They, that's preaching, is to witness and get people in the door of bhakti to say, yeah, this is very good. Gohari is teaching as it is, you know, because it's working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> it gets the desired result, which is what? Devotion to Krishna. It doesn't work. Speculation. you got to meet a person who has realized Krishna, a person where Lord Chaitanya has given his body to them, Radha and Krishna has given their body. Lord Chaitanya is Radha and Krishna. They've given their body to that devotee. What is that? You got the devotion there and you got the conclusive truth there. See? That's the body of the Lord. And you go and you face that person to listen. You're going to get Krishna in this life. You, this is the revival. This is the second chance for those who missed it 500 years ago. See, people did miss it. They missed it, and they got another chance through the disciples, you know, whoever uh, uh, was coming around. He, like that king, he got a second chance. He, he heard about Lord Chaitanya. He didn't take shelter. He wasn't purified enough. And so his time was when Srinivas went to the king, King Himvara, Himvara, something like that. See? And he was a very bad person. So anyway, he missed it the first time with Lord Chaitanya. Then he got a second chance with Srinivas. They, and took it. They surrendered there, got bhakti. They, otherwise, he would have just died without it. He had to meet the representative that had, was filled with love. Otherwise, he would never believe it. Just like now, people that are moving from the Vaidhi sector, they're coming here like Janaki and Meena and everything, and they're getting it. Otherwise, they wouldn't be getting it. You have to get it from the representative, the living devotee. Why? Because the book says so, and, and we're proving so. Those Ritviks can't prove diddly squat and so can and these living gurus who haven't realized Krishna cannot prove it either. None of them good because the desired result's not coming but except in our little humble Sangha. That they that the guys that tell me the big so called big scholars say we are pompous uh, what do you call it? pompous fools. See? Big scholars, one guy one one big scholar called me a pompous fool today. And I said, well, it takes one fool to call out another fool. <laughs> Otherwise
otherwise he would have been silent and nobody would know his position till a, a person foolish enough to tell the truth comes because if you tell the truth you know I don't think I know when I just I just get my happiness telling the truth and I know it calls out the pompous fools of so-called big scholars doesn't it they all come out and say oh you're a pompous fool I said yeah well it takes one takes one to know one but they don't really know They don't know. They don't know they're a fool. I, I know I'm a fool, but they don't know. They think they're very smart. They're so smart they can they dare to challenge a person with a with the name, title, Srila Bhakti Vedanta. They don't even care to invent Oh, it can't be dressed like that. See, clotheslines. All these great scholars are nothing but clotheslines. Isn't that amazing? And we're here to instruct the clotheslines. You know, wring them out a little bit. Get all that, the dirty water out of, <laughs> out of their clothes, man. Oh boy, look who's here. it is maybe maybe not maybe it isn't yeah okay so Guru Tattva this is you see why Guru Tattva is here everywhere and every even in Majalila Maj, they're still teaching Guru Tattva they teach it in the beginning they teach it in the middle and they teach it in the end yeah Anjalila, all these statements teach you where, because if you find the real guru, man, that's delivering this, they got, we got the order, you got the ecstasy, and we got the order to distribute it, man. What else you want? All you have to do is come get it, man. Dinner time, ding a ling a ling, <laughs> ring a ring a ring, ding a ling a ling, ding dong. Only the ding dongs don't come. <laughs> So in your absence, all these people have been exactly like thirsty chattak birds, crying in disappointment. That's everybody. So the ones who are crying, see, they feel the they're doing vaidhi bhakti, but they still feel em, there's an emptiness there. They're around people that are not powerful enough. Their gurus, their teachers, their their ritvic ideas, they're still not powerful enough to bring them out of that. You know, and, and so they're crying in disappointment. Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? So then, it, when you really cried long enough, man, the Lord sees you're sincere. They'll he'll put you with a real devotee who cries now for a different reason. <laughs> cries in real separation and real union for Krishna. And now, because now you're, you're, you're ready, you're submissive and surrendered to the real guru, now you very quickly get bhakti. Because that guru is, Lord, you please accept him. See? Nobody else can say that. The Lord doesn't, he doesn't agree to anybody that hasn't realized him to give himself to, the, to, to their disciples. How can he? Doesn't agree. Okay? And he doesn't agree because uh, it did, that word didn't see. It's I agree to whatever you say. Well, Prabhupada, you know, Narayan Raj, uh, these others, they either didn't say it. I mean, a person who has realized Krishna, a person where Lord Chaitanya has given his body to them. Radha and Krishna has given their body. Lord Chaitanya is Radha and Krishna. They've given their body to that devotee. What is that? You got the devotion there and you got the conclusive truth there. See? That's the body of the Lord. And you go and you face that person to listen. You're going to get Krishna in this life. You, this is the revival. This is the second chance for those who missed it 500 years ago. See, people did miss it. They missed it and they got another chance through the disciples, you know, whoever uh, uh, was coming around. 
See, like that king, he got a second chance. He, he heard about Lord Chaitanya. He didn't take shelter. He wasn't purified enough. And so his time was when Srinivas went to the king, King Himvara, Himvara, something like that. See? And he was a very bad person. So anyway, he missed it the first time with Lord Chaitanya. Then he got a second chance with Srinivas. See? And took it. They surrendered there, got bhakti. See? Otherwise, he would have just died without it. He had to meet the representative that was filled with love. Otherwise, he would never believe it. Just like now, people that are moving from the Vaidhi sector, they're coming here like Janaki and Meena and everything, and they're getting it. Otherwise, they wouldn't be getting it. You have to get it from the representative, the living devotee. Why? Because the book says so, and, and we're proving so. Those Ritviks can't prove diddly squat and so can't. And these living gurus who haven't realized Krishna cannot prove it either. None of them could because the desired result's not coming but except in our little humble Sangha. That, they, that the guys that tell me, the big so-called big scholars say, we are pompous, uh, what do you call it? Pompous fools. See, big scholars, one guy, one, one big scholar called me a pompous fool today. And I said, well, it takes one fool to call out another fool. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have been silent and nobody would know his position till a person foolish enough to tell the truth comes. Because if you tell the truth, you know, I don't think I know when I just... I just get my happiness telling the truth. And I know it calls out the pompous fools of so-called big scholars, doesn't it? They all come out and say, oh, you're a pompous fool. I said, yeah, well, it takes one, takes one to know one. But they don't really know. They don't know. They don't know they're a fool. I, I know I'm fool, but they don't know. They think they're very smart. They're so smart they can they dare to challenge a person with a with the name, title, Srila Bhakti Vedanta. They don't even care to invent oh it can't be dressed like that. See, clotheslines. All these great scholars are nothing but clotheslines. Isn't that amazing? And we're here to instruct the clotheslines, you know, wring them out a little bit. Get all that the dirty water out of <laughs> out of their clothes, man. Oh boy, look who's here. <laughs> is it who I think it is? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it isn't. Yeah. Okay. So Guru Tattva, this is, you see why Guru Tattva is here everywhere and every, even in Majjalila, Majjalila, they're still teaching Guru Tattva. They teach it in the beginning, they teach it in the middle, and they teach it in the end. Yeah. You know, Anjalila, all these statements teach you where, how, because if you find the real guru, man, that's delivering this, they got, we got the order, you got the ecstasy, and we got the order to distribute it, man. What else you want? All you have to do is come get it, man. Dinner time, ding-a-ling-a-ling. Ring-a-ring-a-ring, <laughs> ding-a-ling-a-ling, ding-dong. Only the ding-dongs don't come. <laughs> your absence, all these people have been exactly like thirsty chatak birds, crying in disappointment. That's everybody. So the ones who are crying, see, they feel the, they're doing Vaidhi Bhakti, but they still feel em, there's an emptiness there. They're around people that are not powerful enough. They're gurus, they're teachers, they're, they're Ritvic ideas. They're still not powerful enough to bring them out of that, you know. And, and so they're crying in disappointment. Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? So then uh, when you really cried long enough, man, the Lord sees you're sincere, they'll, he'll put you with a real devotee who cries now for a different reason. 
<laughs> cries in real separation and real union for Krishna. See? And now, because now you're, you're, you're ready, you're submissive and surrendered to the real guru, now you very quickly get bhakti. Because that guru is, Lord, you please accept him. See? Nobody else can say that. The Lord doesn't, he doesn't agree to anybody that hasn't realized him to give himself to, the, to, to their disciples. How can he? Doesn't agree. Okay? And he doesn't agree because uh, it did, that word didn't see, it's, I agree to whatever you say. Well, Prabhupada, you know, Narayan Raj, uh, these others, they either didn't say it I'm giving you bhakti in this life, you know, you're not, you're going to get it now. Or, they said it but couldn't give it. See? So, but the real devotees, the real associates of the, the Lord that are really empowered, that got the order, like here, the word is out, man. You're going to get devotion in this life if you, from your heart you worship Krishna and you're not a, you know, a hypocrite or a liar or some of these that left. You know, they, they really they really want name and fame. Well, they gotta drink that donkey urine first. See, donkey urine. You know what donkey urine is? Name and fame. Donkey urine is that ignorance. <laughs> you know, to actually want that. Isn't that clear? I mean, it gets more and more clear, you know, what's really going on here. <laughs> so, like, when Lord Chaitanya's time, people met him, and some didn't take shelter, you know, and they, they got a second chance, they still might not have been ready. Just like now, people getting another chance to go deeper, maybe not ready. So, and these are seeds that go in, the, in them from meeting the devotees, and in a future time, maybe they'll go deeper. Usually, you know, it's uh, maybe some more lifetimes down the road. Some are destined, like now, obviously we could see, some are destined, they got Vaidhi Bhakti and they'll stick with that their whole lives and die in it. And then it'll just, maybe another lifetime, they'll meet a devotee whenever that is. You know, and then they come, and then, and then go to the next stage. The next stage is the spontaneous love of God. Where the next stage is Raganuga and then leads to spontaneous See, because, see, you can't say that we're doing, we're, I'm teaching spontaneous love. No, I'm teaching Raganuga Bhakti. The qualification of Raganuga Bhakti is different than spontaneous devotion. Raganuga Bhakti is you're favorable to an ecstatic devotee and favorable to learn from them, to hear from them, you know, their, their teachings on this path and this level and you're also favorable to the bhakti. See? Now that's the qualification. See, Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur, Raghavartma Chandrika says. That's all you need. Those who are not qualified for Vaidhi, you could be a big guru and not qualify. I mean, Raghunuga. You could be a, a big guru and not qualified for Raghunuga. If you're a big guru and with a lot of disciples and there's a Raghunuga devotee here to learn from, which is very rare, and then they, the, the devotee has gotten the order to give this out and you don't go to them and you don't care about them, you just care about your own activities of guruship and giving a, a Bhagavad Gita class or Bhagavatam class like a you know in a pompous um, overly intelligent you, know, you think you're in, you're so smart and intelligent why should you need to go to where bhakti is distributed is that is being distributed is that intelligence no that means you're less intelligent like your followers who who don't go either see so you're caught on that level you can't get out of it you know unless you listen here you might wake up a little bit because I'm throwing cold water on your face yeah, that's not wait. Well, you, same thing when Lord Chaitanya was here. See what happened then happens again. What goes around comes around. 
Same thing. It says right in Chaitanya Bhagavat, many people, they didn't even pay him any mind. They were, they were Bhagavatam teachers, just like now, Bhagavatam teachers. They were Bhagavad Gita. They were gurus and teachers, Vaishnavas, and, and they were only concerned with their own activities, see, their own ideas and false ego. When you, and, and they didn't pay any mind to these liberated devotees giving an ecstatic devotion. In other words, they don't really, didn't really want it. See, we're reaching out into these, these um, like, like Jesus, I have sheep in many folds. So the sheep of Lord Chaitanya, those really, or Krishna, Radha and Krishna also, they really want Radha and Krishna. They really desire him. The Lord will lead them here to get that. And the others, they just stay out there and do their uh, blind leading, uh, the blind followers. You could be a demigod, man. If you're uh, in Brahman uh, level realization or you're a Brahmin, you're still blind. You still won't hear unless you get the special mercy of the Lord and the Lord's devotees. You can't understand what I'm talking about here. You can't understand its value. Okay? So that's why the first fruits are those who really want. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, when Jesus, um, those who really want devotion to Krishna, really intimacy, love for Krishna, they come first usually. It's like with Jesus, he was walking down the road, man. And uh, one of his first disciples said, uh, I want to follow you. And he, he said, Jesus said, why? He said, I want to worship the Lord with intimacy. I want, I want to feel these scriptures in my heart. That is important to me. Therefore, I know if I follow you, I will get that. Isn't that what this is about? Isn't that what people appreciate here that stay? They're getting the ability to relish the deep truths in the scriptures. It's a relish. It's a taste, man. The ecstasy and the bliss of it. And to talk about Krishna, to teach the truth, to hold up, you know, the mantle of, uh, of uh, you know, the absolute eternal truth in its highest um, um, platform. So if any sannyasis or gurus or teachers or Buddhists or anybody that thinks, oh, that's not very valuable, they won't come. So if you think it's very valuable, come on, wise up, man. Don't think that you're going to go to those who don't see that what we're teaching here is of value, which is exactly this, exactly what that disciple told Jesus, man. He said, man, I want to worship the Lord from my heart. I want the scriptures written in my heart. That's a real devotee, man. That's a devotee Bhagavad. They, you look at them, man, and you, you look at what they say. You hear what they say, man. It is exactly what the scripture, they live the scripture. You see, it says, to those who worship me with loving ecstasy, you see a living person doing that. Where, what are these gurus? That if they don't worship the Lord with transcendental loving ecstasy? You think they're going to actually be able to give that to you? They got to be a true devotee Bhagavad. It means just exactly it. To those who awaken, those who awaken devotion to Krishna, they are certainly the spiritual master. Well, are you that, Mr. Guru, Mr. Ritvik, or Mr. Living Guru? Do you awaken devotion to Krishna not only in yourself but in others who listen to you? You show some examples, and we'll compare those examples to the scriptures. And we'll listen to them to see if they have the right understanding, like Johan, and River, and Runga, and everybody else. Okay? That we have, we test everything by what we're taught as it is in the scriptures, not by any fucking checklist. What kind of thing is this? A checklist to tell what kind of guru I can give my life to. A checklist, a mundane thing. Did he follow the program? Did he study enough? Did he do this? No, man. How many people? You want to know your guru? You want to deliver people? How many people have you delivered? Well, I've delivered a few already. 
quite a few. How many have you delivered? You guys being worshipped as great big, big devotees and big sannyasis and big with all the big pomp. This guy with a Muppet t-shirt has delivered more devotees and tells you and shows you how many have you delivered? I can deliver them in a Muppet shirt. You put on a Muppet shirt and see how many people will listen to you because you don't really, you're, you're a clothesline, most of you guys. You don't have the power, internal power, to say something of substance that whether you wear a Muppet shirt or a sannyasi garb, people that are hungering after Krishna will come and listen to you. Oh, I get all, you get all the rejects. You get all those who are looking. Uh, what? An Acharya is going to wear a Muppet shirt? No, I'm going to those who are well-dressed for success. You get those. Good. I don't want them. Unless they learn the right standard. Oh, I don't want to go to Gorhari. He cusses. Oh, I'm not concerned that love of God is awakening in him, in others, in him, and everything. He chants the holy name in ecstatic love, which you can't do in millions of lifetimes, usually. You know, if they're offenses, and, and they're, most of my friends, oh, all of my friends, they don't chant in ecstatic love. We, 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 we don't even like it. We go to those who are dressed for success as guru and with the big, they fulfill the checklist or at least they, unless they're bribing somebody and saying, well, hey man, I'll give you 50,000. You can let me be a guru, man. I'll give you dividends on all that. Other. It's kind of crap, Ola, man. Okay? You guys, you, I dare you. You put on a Muppet shirt and preach and see who listens to you. You, you can't pull it off. <laughs> or do any of the crazy things that I do. Because they're not really crazy. They're, they're well thought out by the Lord. I don't think about him, but I think he is. <laughs> he has his plan. See, it's, these computers, they kind of messing up all the time. Messed up again. And I got to go to this book. I got to go in here and get it. Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya first introduced Janardhan. Yeah, it, you know, by the way, you can play the devil's advocate out there. See, the devil's advocate. And whatever the Vaidhi Bhaktas you think they might say or something, put it up there, you know, and then we'll respond to it. See, devil's advocate. You want to advocate those who are still under Maya. So you advocate for Maya there, which you think the Vaidhi Bhaktas would do, and we'll respond to those, those allocations. So Sarvabhama Bhattacharya continued, This is Krishna Das who carries a golden cane. Ooh. Ooh. And here is Sikhi Mahiti, who is in charge of writing. This is Pradumna Mishra, who is chief of all Vaishnavas. He is the great servitor of Jagannath, and his name is Das. This is Morari Mahiti, the brother of Shiki Mahiti. He has nothing other than your lotus feet. See, that's the secret of success, to have nothing other than the lotus feet. You, could, you, you know, this people teaching the wrong way. They say, oh, you, this person's completely free of material desires and everything. But you know what? There are more devotees that may have material desires, but they, they're real, 
happiness is in the Lord's lotus feet and they know it because that's how you get the mercy. If you want to go to get free of all material desires and everything and go up that ascending path and everything take you so friggin long, you might as well forget it. You'll lose heart at some point. Okay? Better to get this mercy because the mercy is here and it's being gotten by the devotees. And whatever subtle or gross attachments are there, they will be they will be dissolved because the Lord agrees. If you have real bhakti, man, real devotion, and you've been worshiping a long time with the Lord, man, you will be able to give that to others if the order is given. Okay? Well, the order is given. That's why people, my, my disciples, will be able to give it to others too. It will help them, strengthen them also. See? Secret of success. Nothing other than your lotus feet. And you know what practically what that means? Man, that means the lotus feet are had only by real devotees. See? By real devotees. By, the, by um, um, real acharyas like uh, Prabhupada, Bhakti Salam, Bhakti Vinod. The Lord has given himself to them. Hearing from them is, is excellent. See? Because they're authorized. Also, all the, the Vaishnavas that we hear about in the, in the scriptures. See, that's the Lord's lotus feet you can grab hold of through them, through their writings and through their preaching. And, and generally people don't understand this clearly, and that's why they, they try to grab hold onto the Acharya's feet there, like that, through the book only. And, but then they grab on to those who are the false acharyas, man. They cannot see who the Putanas are who are claiming to be liberated but aren't, man. You can't see those who are not free of that. And you grab the hold there and you grab hold there. That's not making the lotus feet of the Lord. You're, you know, you're, uh, have only your no lotus feet of the Lord. You've got to learn from the bona fide guru. No, the lotus feet are here, man. Through the real devotees, if you're lucky to see a living one, they'll be conclusive and tell you as it is what's in the scriptures, regardless of what kind of shirt they wear. And they will have that ecstatic bliss. Okay. Okay. That's, they, they, they will teach you how to hold the, the uh, lotus feet of Krishna. They will teach you how to be able to be qualified to abandon all varieties of religion and just surrender unto Krishna because you'll be attracted to the pastime of the Lord. Now you can kick that ladder out from underneath you. It's a burden. Okay? Now you're, you're held up by the Lord's protection by Faith and, uh, and ecstatic worship, you know, loving ecstasy when you hear about the Lord, chant his names. See, you're held perfectly in line like that, perfectly, solidly. You're purified like that. You're inspired by that. See, nothing other than the Lord's lotus feet. His pastimes, his qualities, his name is your way is your path, and it becomes the other path. Those who listen to you, they, they, get, they release all of these other paths they're doing. That's so hard and so difficult, and they lead to blind alleys and dead ends. All of them except this path. See? The path of holding on to the lotus feet of the Lord, they, taught by the real devotees. The living devotees, the books teaching them, but they people still they grabbing a little bit of Prabhupada and and the Goswamis and everything. But they're also grabbing the false acharyas, man, that really don't represent them and speculate all over the place. Okay? You got to grab one vision, man, and you do that in spite of your situation, whether you have no material desires or whether you have material desires. 
You just listen to the real devotees and you'll be able to grab with not double vision or forked tongue. You become a hypocrite when you grab the, the Acharya's feet and you grab these other persons. Oh, Guru Dev, you deliver me. And Guru, well, I can't quite do it, but keep on worshiping me because I speculate that you're supposed to worship me. I, I just say it's in the book and I just juggle everything. You keep worshiping me, and also, but Prabhupada, uh, he'll deliver you. You're grabbing two feet, man. One is not, you're putting two feet on the altar, man. I mean, two sets of feet. You know, you got the liberated soul, and you put the mundane person. Well, so you got one bad apple and one good apple. You put them together, it spoils the whole barrel of Vaishnavism for you. You start to speculate from the pollution, man. You're alloyed now. You're full of alloys and, and uh, darkness mixed in there with that. Mm. Here are Chandrasvara and Simasvara. Morari Brahmana and Vishnu Das. You know, today this one guy says, well, who is this Gorahari to be able to, to do what the Acharyas do and take the words and all that? See, a guy wants to spoil all my fun. I just found, I started doing this and I love it, man. I say, wow, this is so great to break everything down, you know, word for word and to go right to what the points are. I love it. And this guy, this so-called scholar wants to spoil all my fun. Stop me from doing that. Hey, man, you go stop somebody else because you ain't stopping me, man. I even told the guy, he said, I'm looking to unfriend you. I said, hey, man, why do you want to spoil our fun? Well, you know, I need somebody to spar, philosoph philosophically spar with here. I need some so-called scholar like yourself to go and put your ideas <laughs> up there and then we can discuss them. <laughs> And so that everybody gets clear of your speculation, basically. That really the bottom line is. So he gets clear of it, too. They are all... <clears throat> Murari, Brahmana, and Vishnu Das, they are all constantly engaged in meditating on your lotus feet. This is Parmananda... Pra uh, Paharaj, who is also known as Mahapatra. He is very, very intelligent. All these pure devotees serve as ornaments to Jagannath Puri. They are always undeviatingly meditating upon your lotus feet. See? After this introduction, everyone fell to the ground like rods. Being very merciful upon them, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu embraced each and every one of them. So he did this externally to teach how he does that inside. Everyone that becomes like this, everyone that just listens to a real devotee and believes what they say will be embraced by Lord Chaitanya. And you will feel it in this life as people are feeling it already. You will want Radha and Krishna. You will desire them. You will taste their mercy, man. See? Simply because you believe in the Lord's real representative as he's being presented, as he's being presented in the book, and in congruence, congruence, very congruent, harmonious, synchronized with the devotees preaching Shuddha Bhakti principles. See? Only when Shuddha Bhakti is preached can it be people understand these things. See, they're preaching Shuddha Bhakti. I'm just telling you, it's not so, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand it. You just can't understand it through these so-called rocket scientists. You know, they make everything so complicated because they haven't realized these things. What's so difficult to understand? You find a devotee who worships the Lord with loving ecstatic symptoms. You know, what is so difficult? Empowered with the order of the Lord. It's not so dim. It's very easy. It's very rare to find something like that. Okay. Any questions, guys? Anything? Uh, any comments? Yeah. 
See, so each and every one gets embraced by the Lord. That's the beautiful thing. This will happen internally and you'll feel it. You'll experience what is real love. Otherwise, nobody knows. The big mystery, big secret, this word. Look at it. Vaishnavas, they don't know worshiping by the Spirit. They think this is totally nuts. See, it's a big mystery. You want to learn that mystery? You have to find those who, who know it. Know the secret. You know, when you when you when you're when you get this kind of association and we have this kind of deep knowledge of the truth, man, and then you have these movies called The Secret and the big you know what the big secret like that compared to this, it seems ridiculous. What the big secret that you can be wealthy in this world and uh, you know, you the um, uh, what do they call the uh, what do they call that thing? We try and make money. What do they call it? Where you just make money with your mind, uh, opulence, uh, stuff like that. That's the big secret, man. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Mystic powers and the ability to control your life. Yeah, you know, it's not a bit the biggest secret. <laughs> this is the biggest secret. At this time, Bhavananda Roy appeared with his four sons, and all of them fell down at the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya continued, This is Bhavananda Roy, the father of Ramananda Roy, who is his first son. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. We'll get back to this in a bit. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Okay, we'll take a little break for a little bit here now. I need to rest.